Hello, how are you all? I hope you're doing well. So we're going to talk about Victoria's Secret. Um, I'm surprised, but I am not surprised. And I wanted to talk about this for several reasons, not just because Victoria's Secret, but also I, to me, this is a future get woke, go broke story. Although we don't know what's going to happen. I'm going to be really interested what happens with their sales and just their brand as a whole. But I also feel like there's been this attack on traditional feminism. And this is just one more example to me. And maybe I'll look into that a little bit more. But it seems like we're in this society now or in this culture where we're encouraging men to become more feminine and we're encouraging women to become more masculine. And that's going to lead you know in the traditional male female relationship to a lot of confusion and a lot of unhappiness just in my opinion personally but let's talk about Victoria's Secret as a brand so this story is from the Daily Caller and if you haven't heard Victoria's Secret is getting rid of their traditional angels so the angels are the ones that you see on the runway the Victoria's Secret fashion show you know when I think of an angel I think of Tyra Banks Heidi Klum uh Adriana Lima Miranda Kerr you know the the tall beautiful sexy models that do the Victoria fashion show once a year and that is sort of Victoria's Secret's brand right they're selling sexy laundry lingerie and when you buy lingerie who are you buying it for you're buying it for your man so you're buying something this is something you do for the man this is something you do to feel sexy in front of him because it's something that he likes to see uh but that's now Victoria's Secret is in my opinion eating themselves and we're going to talk about that in this rebranding and I don't even think it has to do completely with what they're saying. I think that Victoria's Secret sort of got bullied into this. Their sales have been really bad. They're starting to cancel their Victoria's Secret fashion show and I think that uh, and they were pressured a lot by the woke mob a few years ago and have been recently and I think this is them sort of caving to the mob hoping that this will increase their sales but let's look into what's happening so uh it says victoria's secret does away with angels brings in megan rapineau transgender model and others on board um so this is uh the new york times when the world was changing we were slow to respond martin waters the chief executive of the brand told new york times in an article published wednesday we need to stop being about what men want and to be about what women want well that is the whole idea behind lingerie and just to let you guys know victoria's secret they sell all kinds of stuff they sell high-waisted underpants they sell like t-shirt bras they they sell everyday things that you can wear they sell comfy pajamas they sell things for teenagers which they their their whole pink line which they have a completely different branding for that but when it comes to that specific thing which is sort of what they're known for even though they really do cater to everything when it comes to sexy lingerie that is for men and in return that is for women anywho um so he goes on to say victoria's secret is getting rid of his if it's angels and wings the company has hired new representatives including soccer star megan rapineau uh, actress priyanka chopra jonas as it tries to conduct one of the most extreme brand turnovers in recent history so i don't know about you but when i think and i don't mean to be mean in any way this honestly has a lot more to do with the personality than anything but uh so they're taking Taking away their their sexy angel models and replacing it with. What do you have to say? What do you deserve? The brand is hiring a list of spokeswomen. Uh, not to model the brand's lingerie, but to promote the brand through podcasts and other marketing materials, according to page six. Here's another quote by Waters. He says, I've been known, it's, I've known we needed to change this brand for a long time. We just haven't had the control of the company to be able to do it. Uh, in the old days, the Victoria's Secret brand had a single lens, which was called sexy. Exactly. Uh, Rapino doesn't believe sexy has a single lens either. As a gay woman, I think a lot about what we think is sexy and we are afforded the ability to do that because I don't have to wear the traditional sexy thing to be sexy and I don't think the traditional thing is sexy when it comes to my partner or people I've dated. I think functionality is probably the sexiest thing we could possibly achieve in life. Sometimes just cool is sexy too. 
Uh, Victoria's Secret hasn't had a fashion show, show since 2018, effectively canceling the 2019 show and not having another one for the past few years. Again, I think this actually has to do with Victoria's Secret's marketing. I think they probably put way too much money in the fa- in the fashion show, and I think this is more of a marketing mistake on their part because they do have things for everyone. They do have things that are functional, and they do have things that are more comfortable. All you have to do is go to the store and you can see it. Um, but the thing about the fashion show is this was something fun and it was something iconic. I know whatever you think about it, but it was, it was something fun and iconic. And I remember my group of friends, we would get together and watch the fashion show. We would all have, you know, like comfy pajamas on. We would bring snacks and cocktails and it was girly and fun and they were selling a fantasy. That's, that's what it is. And it was this inspirational fantasy that you could watch and it was fun and it was girly and it was pretty iconic. Again, Again, no matter what you think about that, it it kind of was, and it was fun, and there's nothing wrong with it. And in my opinion, they, you know, of course their models are tall or whatever, but they had curvier ones like Tyra Banks. Um, Heidi Klum was a little bit curvier at times. They had skinny. They had all different uh, races and ethnicities. Just think it's a little sad and misguided this direction that they're going on. And I'll be really interesting to see how Victoria Secret plays out. I have a feeling it's not going to be that that great. Um, but this is what's interesting. I also think this is Victoria's Secret caving to the woke mob. Oh, here's one more thing I want to say about this too. Again, no matter what you think about models or this or that, it is a profession. And these angels are they're professional models. And this is, you know, being hired on the on the Victoria's Secret fashion show or being hired as an angel is the pinnacle of the career for a lot of these women. And I know, I know, I know it's modeling, but still it takes a lot of discipline and it's their profession that they work for. So you have someone that is a soccer player or someone that is an actress basically taking jobs away from these girls that have worked for this specific thing. Megan Rapinoe is a soccer player. I don't necessarily want to see her talking about sexy lingerie. Uh, You know, I would think that, you know, if you wanted to do a rebranding, if you wanted to make it more inclusive, you don't have to get rid of your angels. That's what people want to see. That's why they buy your stuff. Uh, Maybe have a separate, a separate line that's comfort and this and that and and put Megan Rapinoe there even though I probably wouldn't buy it I personally don't like Megan Rapinoe I think she has a very ugly personality and I don't think she's a good face for any brand but hey that's just me and and here's the thing too so I'm telling you one of the reasons I think this is happening is because they did come under fire by the woke mob and caving and trying to save face for some controversy that they had in the past and trying to have an easy fix for their declining sales but Here we go again. This is how caving to the woke mob and using this as a rebrand is going to backfire. Not just a few hours after they announced this, look what popped up. You know, the the social justice, the equal pay, Megan Rapinoe, who shames everyone else that doesn't believe in what she believes in. Look at what popped up. Uh, So it says, new Victoria's Secret angel, Megan Rapinoe, under fire for old tweet, some are calling racist. So amid our uh, Asian Lives Matter and amid this rise in Asian hate crimes, a tweet from Megan Rapinoe resurfaced. And I'm not even going to read it for you. From 2011, it says, you look in Asian with those closed eyes. And look, that was an old tweet. I don't like cancel culture. I know we've talked about Chrissy Teigen. That is completely different. This is someone who preys upon people that are weaker than her, that is predatory, that's completely different than pulling up an old tweet and trying to ruin someone's career. But Megan Rapinoe made the rules for this game. Ooh, rebranding so we can be better people and more inclusive and more and kind and all all bodies are beautiful. And, okay, whatever. And she has this tweet. That's why this stuff doesn't work. It will always work itself. Not to mention you all. Here, I'll throw this up. So this this new thing, proud to announce an exciting new partnership platform. The Victoria's Secret Collective, designed to shape the future of Victoria's Secret. And these are sort of the spokespeople for the Victoria's Secret Collective. There's that word collective. That sounds like communist to me. It just doesn't sound sexy. It doesn't sound like what Victoria's Secret was all about in the beginning. So 
let me know what you guys think about all of this um it's you know I grew up I haven't probably shopped at in Victoria's Secret for a while but I grew up shopping there because like I said they do have stuff for everyone they have stuff for younger girls they have stuff if you want to be sexy they have their lotions and their sprays that you can buy they have sleepwear that has nothing to do with lingerie they have all kinds of stuff um but you know this is the fun sort of fantasy show thing that they have and I don't see anything wrong with that if you want to make something different make something different but don't take away the angels why would you do that anyway let me know what you all think um have a good day bye